Hi, ho guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old den of tools. And today we got a fun list for you. We got the top 10 items that you can't believe you could buy over at Harbor Freight. And there's some doozies over there, let me tell you what. In fact, I think the bear went a little bit overboard, probably got more than 10, but let's jump into it. Of course, before we do, I got to thank today's sponsor, and that is Slick Deals. Now, Slick Deals, if you don't know, I don't know, you don't know what you're missing. Slick Deals is a huge online community of over 12 million users who share the most up-to-date information on deals and sales and coupons and, and all that kind of stuff. Plus, they have some promoted deals as well. Screaming, screaming hot deals. And Slick Deals has made it even easier for you to find those deals. And the way they did that is that they've added an, a browser extension now that you can download. I'll have the link down below, down there. And it's going to take you to this page. Like for me, I'm on Chrome. It takes me over here to add to Chrome. I just click that button. And a few seconds later, boom, it'll say installation successful. You've added it to your browser. And now you're ready to start savings. In fact, we go over here. We're at Harbor Freight. Let's see what it says. Here's the little tab over here, the Slick Deals tab. We got our options for top deals or for coupons. Let's look at those top deals here. We're seeing, uh, we got select count on uh, on cable ties for a buck. We got the, the nitrite powder gloves. We got the magnetic screen door for mosquitoes. Let's take a look at a couple of those. That mosquito door, man, let me tell you, when it, when it comes to mosquito time and you want to live outside and you don't want them coming inside, you need to have something like this. It makes it so easy going in and out, especially if you got like a shop door that you want to keep open. You want to get some wind, some air coming in, but you don't want the bugs coming in to join you. That's the way to go for $10. I don't know how you don't go that route. And zip ties, who? Who does not need more zip ties in their life? And for a buck, 99 cents here, for a buck, you can get a hundred pack of them. You know, are they the best zip ties in the world? No, but they'll do the job. I've used them a bunch. They work just fine. And you know what? There's always a job. I keep a bundle of these in my car, you know, in fact, in each of our cars, because there's always something you need to tie down or loop down or, or fix or real quick. Just, you know what? They're, they're a lifesaver. But let's jump into the odd things that you can get over at Harbor Freight. Now, let's get the low-hanging fruit here, the easy one. I know a lot of you are going to know about the backhoe. Yes, Harbor Freight sells a backhoe. And there's the mini mill. If you want to do precision metal milling and, and such, you well, at least on the lathe, they've got that. But they've got more than that. They've got a sawmill as well. And they've got the mini mill there for doing regular CNC style milling. Of course, this is manual, not, but you can convert it. A lot of people do convert these to CNC machines. And they even have its big brother here, the nine speed vertical milling machine. So there, that's all the stuff that's obvious. Now let's jump into the, some, some of the stuff you may have passed over. You know, I often find myself walking through the store. You see this stuff in peripheral and you don't really think about it, what it really is, because you're actually looking for something specific. First off, we got to talk about some of the blades they have in the store. Okay, six inch Bowie knife, odd, I'll give you, but it's not really all that out there, right? How about a straight up Rambo survival knife? I mean, and if you don't think I'm, I'm if you think I'm exaggerating, you think the bear's off his rocker here, it's got a compass in the handle and a survival kit inside. If you are old enough like the bear to remember when that Rambo movie came out and suddenly everybody and their brother was selling a survival hunting knife, I, the, the, they're the only ones still holding up the tradition because there it is right there. You go into the wilderness and you can come back alive because of your Gordon survival knife. All right, but it doesn't stop there. They got machetes too. Now that maybe that's not so odd. Maybe you got the back 40 to clear out and stuff, but you know, it's just, you walk around an end cap and you see a machete hanging there and you just kind of wonder, huh, they keep it awfully close to the duct tape and the ropes. Just, just saying. Anyway, and how about this? A slingshot. What is this doing in a hardware store? I don't know, but they're heck of fun. I love, you know, plinking with a slingshot as much as the next bear, but it just seems odd to see me walk around the, the aisles and find something like that. Now, let's talk about some stuff for your truck. They've got a couple of cranes. This is the big boy crane, thousand pound winch, everything like that. But who's going to bolt that thing into the bed and take up that much room? Well, they've got this thing, which tucks down in the wheel well over there on the side. Man, I have been thinking about getting me one of these. I've loaded so many big, heavy things. And look at this, because I looked at it, I look at the geometry on it. I'm like, oh, that can't move anything large. Well, that arm extends way out there. And as long as it's only 500 pounds, you can lift something fairly big to get it up into that truck. You're moving mowers, you're moving washing machines, stuff. Anything you're having to do by yourself, you, well, we've all been there, right? Well, grab yourself one of these, put it in there. It tucks out of the way when not in use, and boy, it's going to be a lifesaver. 
all right, now you're in your truck, you got your, your load, and everyone's in your way. Let's get them to move on out of that way with the 12-volt air horn. Bad boy Wolo air horn. Oh, my gosh. It is twice as loud. They claim twice as loud as factory horns. I might have to get me one of these. Up in Montana, not such a big issue. Driving around here with these lunatics and the tourists down here in Vegas. Oh, my gosh. I'm definitely going to have to pick one of those up. All right, moving along. This is falling into the category of oddly specific. They got a lot of tools, a lot of great tools. But, man, you walk around and you see a heat bond carpet seam iron. How often do you need one of those? But I guess when you need it, you know, this is that's the thing where Harbor Freight's really come in. Is they do have a lot of these oddly specific kind of tools. You're doing a project at home. You're, you Apparently, you need to heat bond some carpet. Well, you know, you don't want to go buy one of the big high-end ones, probably, because you're just doing one job. That's where Harbor Freight has, that's where they, they made their bones is coming up with tools like this. But it is, again, oddly specific. Nicona, did you know that Harbor Freight has a metal detector? You can go and find all sorts of treasure, be walking along the beach, going to the playground, something like that, finding all sorts of stuff that people drop and whatnot. But that's not the only kind of metal detector they have. They have the please stand with your arms out and turn and face the wall kind of metal detector. That, why? Why is this at Harbor Freight? Who, who's like, I'm going to be doing some serious security. I'm going to go pick up my, my metal detecting wand from Harbor Freight. I mean, I'd, I hate to, to uh, you know, trash on the freight like that. It, I'm sure it's a fantastic metal detector. It's got 96 reviews, mostly positive. It's just not the thing I think of, like, I'm doing security and I'm worried about people carrying in some bad things. I'm going to go to Harbor Freight for that. All right, next up, we've got the cowbell. Let's be honest. We all know that we need more cowbell in our life. But again, why is this in a Harbor Freight? I don't know. We have one of these. We used to use it on the channel for all sorts of stuff. Uh, we've gone away from it. But, you know, it's always fun playing with the cowbell. Uh, and if you if you find yourself needing a cowbell, Harbor Freight's got you covered. How about this? A tire rim gear clock. I guess it's for the shop guys to look cool in your, in your tool shop and stuff like that. Honestly, I look at this thing, I find it hard to tell what time it is. Between the spokes, the weird wrench, the screwdriver, everything. I, I mean, it looks cool, I guess, but I'd have to sit there and stare at it for 30 seconds and go, okay, that's the hand, that's that. Anyway, if you're looking for a tire clock, they got you covered. All right, now this one may not seem odd because you see these at all sorts of hardware stores and stuff like that, but it does seem a little bit odd. Like, you know where I'm going to buy my tumblers? I'm going to go to the hardware store to buy my tumbler. But I will t I have to say this. I have probably a dozen of these things and keep them in the truck, keep them in the house, keep them in the RV, uh, you know, give them to friends. The, I did a test probably two or three years ago, probably three or four years ago, where I tested this versus like the Ozark and the, the Yeti and a bunch of other ones. Could not tell a difference between any of them. They all pretty much worked about the same. And that said, at $6, please, please don't waste your money on a Yeti. Buy yourself one of these over at Harbor Freight. Just so you know, pro tip, the, uh, the lids are interchangeable with Yeti. If you have a Yeti one and you need a new lid for it, and I don't know how much Yeti lids cost, you can just buy one of those and use the lid from that. All right. The, 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 I, hmm. Yeah. Electric meat grinder. That's not suspicious we got. Anyway, the electric meat grinder, if you got some, maybe some deer sausage or something, to make Ooh, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. Come this November, maybe I'll be grabbing myself one of these. Electric meat grinder. This is just not... You know, when I think hardware store, I don't think uh, meat grinder. Maybe it's just the bear. What do you think? How about personal hygiene? Hair clippers. Shut up, iPhone. Uh, hair clippers just, oh my gosh. You know, being as big and fuzzy as I am, I, I got to do some trimming. It, it gets out of hand at times. But, you know, uh, I don't know. I'm pretty specific about my hair clippers. I'm I'm a brawn kind of bear. That's where I, I spend my money, and I've been real happy with them over the years. But if you've got one of these, let me know how it works. What do you think of it? Is, is it worth the $15? All right. Anyway, next up, to more personal health care kind of stuff. We got a blood pressure monitor cuff. I, I just, it, it's, it makes you ponder what. <laughs> What were they thinking? They're like, well, they're walking around the store and the lines do get kind of long. Maybe they want to check their blood pressure while they're at it. I guess you could do it. You know, they, when you're up there dealing with the, the rep or at the at the counter or something and you find out your coupons expired and, and all that kind of stuff. Maybe you want to make sure like, hey, let's let's keep our blood pressure in check there. All right. Now let's get into home security. OK, 
I know you, if you're like me, I've been thinking about stashing money in my yard, in my front yard, maybe in my backyard with my sprinkler system for $1.99. You can replace one of your sprinkler heads or make it look like you've replaced a sprinkler head at least and put your values, maybe a, a, a key to the back door, five bucks, 20 bucks, maybe you stash it all around the, all around the yard, get like 20 of them, especially, you know, put it like a couple thousand dollars here and there and who knows maybe they think they just really like your yard or something all right moving along security cameras now harbor freight has some great deals on security cameras but here's your not a security camera it is the imitation dome security camera for eight dollars and i do have to say this it honestly having something like this is not a bad idea if you're going to do a full security setup because what you really want to do is you want to put your security cameras at someplace they can't be seen and then put this out shut up phone put this out as a place where people can see it so if they're going to try and damage the security camera to so they're going to do something nefarious they'll take this out and your actual cameras will catch the real action all right next up we've got the new english dictionary Unfortunately, this one is the content is a little lacking as it's hollow. <laughs> again, not a bad stash box, I guess, you know, but it's just again, the kind of thing you don't think like, huh, I'm gonna go to the hardware store and buy a large steel book sh book safe. <laughs> Honestly, uh, we've had one of these and they're not bad. It, you know, it's not something you use all the time, but something if you want to keep some money or some other valuables around the house. And, you know, as we say, obscurity is the best security for $15 there. Next up, we've got personal protection pepper spray. This keep the bears and everybody off of you. Trust me, nobody wants to be around you when you start spraying this stuff. $9. This is a good name brand pepper spray. Now, they had generic pepper spray before. I think they still have it. But for a few bucks more, you can get the Sabre brand for $10. That is a decent brand of pepper spray. All right. And unfortunately, they are clearing out this one. But never mind the dog. But where the owner, you got to like that sign over at the freight. Now, how about you need to get some detail work done? You know, you get up close. We've got jeweler's loops. Oh my God, five piece set. We got 2X, 3X, 5X, 10X, and 7X for $4. Now, the next one is the one I've actually really wanted to get. And this is the clip on. It goes onto your regular glasses, clips on, and gives you a 16 point by five jeweler's clip on eye loop. I really, you know, you always see these in like, James Bond movies and stuff like that, or criminal thief kind of movies. I'm going to get me a set of these because honestly, my old bear eyes, they're, they're going and I need to do some detail work. Uh, I, I think I really need some of these. What do you think? All right. Next up, <laughs> a tactical flashlight. All right. Harbor Freight's got, don't get me wrong. They've got some fantastic flashlights. I'm a big fan of them. This one kind of leaves me wondering because not only is it the regular style flashlight, it's got this weird side light kind of thing. And it's not on the whole thing. So it's not like it's an area light kind of thing. It's just right there on the side. So, and you know what's going to happen. You know darn well what's going to happen. You're going to have this flashlight. You're going to be using it. You turn it on, you turn on the wrong one and it's going to blind you. It's going to shine right in your face. For $14, you can easily damage your eyesight. That's a great deal bath safety grip handle now 650 i will say this we had in our house in california we had this huge shower that would get slippery as all heck and i did buy one of these just because there was no grab handle or anything in the shower and it would get slippery so we did get one of these and they do work just fine but again it's one of those things of you know i expect to see this at cvs or walgreens or you know home health care kind of centers S going to harbor freight is not the place you'd expect to see it but there <laughs> there it is uh, don't mistake it for the phone it's not going to answer any of your calls but it will maybe help you from you know busting your fuzzy backside in the shower although i do have to say when i see this it does also make me think about a cheap version of the grabo now if you haven't seen my video on the grabo you have to check that out this is a powered vacuum attachment that's easily handheld you could pick up all sorts of stuff when we were getting ready to come down to vegas uh, for the winter and we were moving out of my shop i had a bunch of big toolboxes and stuff well you know they got a handle on one side but on the other side there's nothing what do you grab it by and i'm sitting there going trying fumbling trying to grab this thing and i'm like oh wait in the shop i've got a grabo and next thing you know everything's got a second handle on it it's fantastic 
I wonder if you could use this for something like that. Not sure what the grip strength on something like this is, but for some, for the things like that, where you're just looking for a way to grab things and tug them around and whatnot and get them up a ramp, that might be a cheap option for getting the same kind of functionality. That said, I'll put a link to the grab out below because for 200 bucks, this thing is a lifesaver. You can use it for all sorts of stuff, even has mounting points so you could uh, tie ropes and stuff to it so you can winch things with it and it, it will do it. All right, tire sealant. All right, I get it. Harbor Freight sells tires. Everyone's got tires. They sell us some bike accessories. We got tire sealant. That's fine. I, a 24 ounce uh, thing of slime, that's that's reasonable, right? It, a gallon? A ga Who needs a gallon of slime? <laughs> Wait, don't answer that because I don't think the bear wants to know why you need a gallon of slime. Anyway, I get it. It's one of those things that, you know, in, you know, in small quantities, I get it. In large quantities, it makes you kind of wonder. All right, moving on, we've got a four inch hobby table saw. It, it It is what it is. And I've never seen anybody buy this. I've never seen anybody use it. I see people look at it and ponder and go, why? Um, but it is, it's a four inch blade. Look, you, you, it's like, uh, it's it, a diamond sawtooth blade even, and you get the miter slot with it as well. But if, if you think, if that's too much of a tool for you, if you, if you're afraid and stuff, I get table saws can be dangerous, even four inch ones, they've got you covered because they've got a two inch miter saw. Yes, I kid you not. It's a two inch miter saw and it does do angled cuts. Look at that. That is that, 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 it is what it is, as they say. $40 on that one. How much was the other? $45. I may have to pick these up just to, just to see how dangerous they can be. All right, next up, if you're taking your cubs to Harbor Freight, be careful what aisle you walk down because you may end up bringing home a remote control boat. They've got a ton of remote control toys. They've got, was it quadcopters, drones kind of stuff? Everyone's selling those these days. Uh, they, they've got RC cars and everything else. But the RC boat, I guess, kind of took me by surprise, not expecting to see that. Uh, maybe I'll have to pick one of these up to see how much fun it is. It does seem like like something you could have some fun with. All right, we're getting close to the, to the, the weirdest of the weird. Next up, we've got the spotting scope because I know every job site needs a 20 by 60 uh, by six, 20, 20 to 60 by 60 millimeter spotting scope with tripod, no less. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll pick this up and give it a try this hunting season. You know, we're out there looking for mule deer and elk. We're up in the, in the, in the back country. We got some distances and stuff. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll pick one up. I'll put one of the, the cubs on spotting and we'll let you know how it works out. So stay tuned. Make sure you've liked and subscribed if you want to see some reviews on the spotting scope. All right. So the runner up to the weirdest thing that I think that Harbor Freight sells, and that is a 250 pound pole retrieving magnet this is just a giant magnet recover dropped or sunk metal objects with powerful retrieving magnet let me go down here they even have some user pictures and stuff things they people have pulled up look at that there's all sorts of stuff people have pulled out of the water oh that looks like fun let me tell you what and i know that people find all sorts of interesting stuff and it's 24 dollars for 24 dollars i guess that is understandable uh, also, guys and gals, if you do get a magnet like this, be careful. You do not want to get your paw between this magnet and something it's trying to grab because it doesn't care about your t fleshy tinder bits that are in between. All right, and for the number one just weirdest, oddest thing that you can't believe that you can buy at Harbor Freight, drum roll please. What? We don't, we don't have budget for drums? All right, anyway, it's a sextant. Who, who uses a sextant anymore? This is, it's one of those things. I want to learn how to use this. I, I have this idea of wanting to learn how to use a sextant. I don't have the time or inclination to actually do it, but it would be cool to learn how to use a sextant. I like to sail. I like to be on the water as much as the next bear, but I got GPS these days. I don't know if I need to learn how to use a sextant. Anyway, $23 on that. That is that is wild. I can't believe that you can still buy a sextant, much less at Yield Harbor Freight. Anyway, thanks again to uh, Slick Deals for sponsoring today's content. Don't forget, we'll have a link down below in the video description. So you can go down there, click and get your own extension for free 
so you can start saving now and save big. You know, I know all of you members of the channel here, you're all big bear kind of saving types, but I know some of you may not have seen it. It's time to, you know, it's time to start saving that money. Who knows what the way the economy is going with inflation and everything else. It's time to start counting those dollars. And this is the best way to do it. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.